How to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's draw a simple triangle. Round the caps and corners of the strokes. Copy and paste the triangle. Right click on it and reflect the shape. Bring them together, overlap the long sides. Now we have two triangles next to each other. We are going to unite them to make a single object. First, select both triangles and then select the Shape Builder tool from the Tools menu. Hover over one of the triangles. You're going to notice that the area inside the triangle becomes shaded. When you press on your left mouse button and drag it over to the next triangle, the whole shape becomes shaded and when you release your mouse button, instantly two triangles will become as one. Now let's copy and paste this one and give the new triangle a twist and place it over the first triangle. Select both triangles again and use the Shape Builder tool to create single object. Now we're done with combining or uniting the objects, but what would you do if you wanted to divide this triangle into half or subtract a part of it? Well, that's easy too. Draw a line which goes all the way through this triangle. Select both the line and the triangle. Select Shape Builder tool again. When you hover your mouse over the triangle, you're going to see that we have already two separate shaded parts here. The only thing that you're going to do is simply click on each of the divided areas of the triangle to define them as individual objects. But we still see the parts of line that exceeds the triangle, and we need to get rid of them too. Shape Builder tool must be selected. That's the first thing. Now, when you place your mouse cursor on an empty white spot on the canvas, you will notice a plus sign next to the cursor. That refers to the adding or combining feature of the Shape Builder tool. But when you press on Alt on your keyboard, you will see that the plus sign turns into a minus sign. And that's what we need to use to get rid of the excess lines. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and hover over the anchor point of the excess line and click on your left mouse button. Let's do the same for the other one. We divided the triangle into half with the help of the Shape Builder tool in Illustrator.